So in the ancient past, we had some indications of water was flowing on the surface, but how much water was there? A major question has been how much water did Mars actually have when it was young and how did it lose that water? We used the world's three major telescopes for infrared astronomy. From the ground, we could actually take a snapshot of the whole hemisphere of the planet on a single night. Now we know that Mars water is much more enriched than terrestrial ocean water in the heavy form of water, the deuterated form. Immediately, that permits us to estimate the amount of water Mars has lost since it was young. So the really interesting question is, could it form a sea or an ocean? And indeed, it would. In the northern plains, which is a relatively flat region but depressed from the rest of the planet, it would form an ocean that was approximately 20% of the planet's surface area. And so that is a respectable ocean. This ocean had a maximum depth of around 5,000 feet or around one mile deep. We now know that uh, Mars was wet for a much longer time than, than we thought before. Curiosity shows it was wet for one and a half billion years, already much longer than the period of time needed for life to develop on Earth. And now we see that Mars must have been wet for a period even longer. It's fascinating that we can learn so much about 4.5 billion years ago when measurements are taken right now. And ultimately we can conclude this idea of an ocean covering 20% of the planet, which opens the idea of habitability and the evolution of life on the planet.